Hello, everybody. My name's El Sonic, and welcome to Test Stream. I'm doing a test stream here because the Navigator told told by Bitroot. Bitroot, you know, we were connected with streaming. And I've been thinking a lot lately. Ever since Mixer died. Hey there. Flute Moo. Is that say right? How's it going? Hi there, Flute Moo. I'm doing a test stream here, trying to see if how things work here. 25. Because I changed the bit rate to 4500. Because I noticed recently, ever, yeah, I used to I was always like multi streamed, like using Restream. So I always kind of streamed on Mixer and Twitch. But since Mixer is no longer around, it shut down on July 26th, the passing away of Mixer and all. Just I've been thinking a lot lately. I don't know, it might be in the future. I might not be multi streaming as much anymore. So I've been thinking a lot about it and such. I'm doing all right, pretty good. Yeah, just talking or explaining the why of what I'm doing here exactly. How about you? You doing good too? Like, I kind of already said well, what I'm doing here. The whole point of this little test stream. I'm trying to see if the stream looks like it's working out okay. So far, it looks like it's working out okay. How's it look on your end? It looks okay on my end. See, I'm, right now, I'm not multi-streaming. I'm just streaming only on Twitch. Because I, I don't want to, like... Because lately, these past couple streams I've been doing through Restream, so then I usually multi-stream on just Mixer and Twitch. Now I'm, and then it started being Mixer, Twitch, and YouTube. Now it's just with Mixer gone, it's now just Twitch and YouTube. So I started not always been multi-stream. I started multi-streaming since like 2017 when my first ever live stream. Which is when I started streaming on Mixer and Twitch, both of those platforms. This is, yeah. It's like, yeah, I got to a point where I was just thinking, I don't know, maybe I won't be multi streaming anymore, because I've been looking, really thinking about it a lot. Also, I don't want the stream to just, this past couple of streams, three streams, my stream has been losing connection, you know? Like, there's just, all my platforms just go offline and everything because I'm multi stream on Restream. You know, Restream, even if you know what Restream is, I can show you what I'm talking about. That's Restream. This is Restream right here. All the platforms I streamed on Twitch, Mixer, YouTube. Mixer's gone now. It's no longer around. And there's just YouTube events. And so I start, so I've been streaming on just Twitch and YouTube, but now I'm just streaming only on twitch right now because the reason for that is because i don't want to run the risk of losing connection so i'm just kind of testing it out on on twist so i don't know maybe i'll just be streaming at one platform at a time because lately i had three streams already where my connection just lost and i had to restart the stream basically so that's kind of what's been happening with me in line doing this test stream to see how it goes or I just stream only on Twitch for now. I was also going to do another stream later on tonight. So, yeah, how about you? How you doing? How you doing, Flit? Blue Moo, I hope I said your name right. How about you? So, yeah, that's what's going on with me. I hope what I just said was clear and understandable. Was it? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, I was kind of just doing a little explanation there. Well, what exactly I'm doing here with this test stream. Not sure where I'll be playing this test stream to be to be honest. Like I don't know, maybe I'll play a little Rocket League just to test out. Because it's just a test stream. Just test out. Like if it normally I would be streaming on both Twitch and YouTube and I'm just streaming only on Twitch. And I think in the future the, the more I look about look at it and think about it, it looks like chances like, you know, you know affiliate, right? On Twitch. It looks like Twitch from I mean affiliate for me on Twitch. Seems like it's almost inevitable that it's gonna happen with how things are when I've been stream when I've been streaming and such. Since I always streamed on Mixer, I've apparently I would neck I was I've been network since when Mixer was around, I guess like you know Mixer, right? Did you ever go to Mixer or did you only go over here on Twitch? Either way, but point is since Mixer was uh, around, it seemed like I did a lot of networking over there when it was around compared to Twitch. Hey, Lincoln, 
Thanks for the auto host. Since uh, Mixer was around, it seemed like I did a lot more networking over there. And now all the people that I've known over at Mixer, before it was shut down on July 22nd, all the people I networked over there with are now over here on Twitch. And since they're over here now on Twitch, eh, it seems like networking is going to happen a lot more over here on on uh, Twitch. And it seems like chances of affiliate was just going to happen whether I would want it to happen or not. And when that happens, I won't be able to multi-stream anymore through Twitch. You see what I'm saying? That's the thing. So it's like, it's, I can look at it in so many different ways where I've been thinking about, a lot about it or something. It seems like that, you know, the people that I know over at Mixer are now over here on Twitch because Mixer shut down, basically. Yeah, it's shut down. So now it seems like, like I could I could keep restreaming, but at some point, if a feeling it does happen, it looks like that's inevitable. It's, if you look at the requirements of what I have, I can show you what I'm talking about. Super. Let me show you what I mean by. See if I can find it. Is this it? Oh, here it is. Okay, found it. All right. Yeah, that's what it says as of now. That's the only thing about it. Like, here, this is what I'm talking about. I'll show you. I can see here. It says Tath Affiliate. The only thing I have now is just the average viewers thing. And lately, I've been here. I can probably show you another, the other thing about it. Like, yeah, that's what it says, like, from... I was like, ugh. Yeah, hold on. That's the... Lately, as of... That's, like, the only thing. Everything else is filled out. That's just the only thing right there. It seems like... It's, I don't know, just, I've been thinking a lot about it. Seems like that's gonna happen. Whether I want it to happen or not. Like, I'm trying to find the other thing here. So, channel, there, here it is. Here's that other thing. This right here. See a few other days besides the average. Where I've had, like, more than... Yeah. Like, there are times where the people I know from Mixer and I are over at, like, see things like this happen because, uh, like, people I've known from Mixer are out now over here on Twitch because Mixer's gone, and every time they raid or host me or something like that, like, who's happening. So I don't really just stream, like, I kind of just have a reason to watch stream. I'm kind of mostly, like, creating content as I'm streaming. So, for me, when I stream, it's like I'm doing a live recording, you know? So, when you go back and watch the VOD, it'll be like, oh, I'm just watching a, a video or I'm kind of commentating. Kind of like what I'm doing right now, basically. So, if I were to upload this on the YouTube, you know, things like YouTube would see this as I'm, like, talking to whoever's watching this, even if you're not seeing it live. That's kind of how I always live stream to begin with. Anyway, that's kind of just how I always live stream to begin with. Just kind of to who wants to find. Like, I kind of always just have the mindset where I can just do this out of enjoyment. You now, regardless of what my status is on the platform, I'll always probably keep doing this out of enjoyment because it's like, yeah, just, ugh. Kind of lost myself there with what I was trying to say. Dang it. Yeah, I was like, what was I trying to say again? I'm trying to try to remember. Yeah, now that it says that in the average viewers right now, but if I keep, like, doing this, that's the only thing. Average viewers is the only thing that's about it. But, I mean, I don't know why I'm having such a tough time explaining what I'm even trying to say. But I was thinking a lot about it since no matter how I look at it, like, yeah, I could keep multi-streaming, but even if I do at some point, the whole... You kind of see where I'm getting with this, right? It's like, whether I choose to try and go for affiliate or not, it seems like it's gonna happen at some point, after everything I just said. Like, yeah, I could just stream on, I could multi-stream on, like, yeah, I could just multi-stream on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. I could do all three, as I've always multi-streamed. But I only started multi-streaming when there was Mixer and Twitch. Those were the only two I started multi-streaming on. And then the only reason I started multi-streaming on YouTube was so I could 
so I can easily manage the VOD. I can get it uploaded a lot quicker on the YouTube when I'm streaming on YouTube. That way, it's over. VOD's kind of already uploaded on the YouTube. And so I can try and like trim it or edit it from there, because that's what I tend to do. That's what I always did when I multi streamed. And I feel like I got to a point where I feel like now that Mixer's gone and I'd only be streaming on Twitch and YouTube, but this past couple of streams, this past three streams, like I said earlier, I've been losing connection and they've been cutting off because I noticed, I noticed both Twitch and YouTube has changed their bit rate. You know, the required bit, they changed their bit rate. I had it at like 3,500 before because of, you know, streaming on multiple platforms and I have to set it to a right certain bit rate depending on what bit rate would work when streaming on all those platforms at once through multi stream so I noticed both Twitch and YouTube kind of changed their bit rate and it seems like Twitch is more like the bit rate I can, it's easier if I showed you what I'm talking about of course it is if I can find that tab do I still have it open I guess I still have that tab open see like over here on Twitch you can see right here, yeah, I'll probably play a game. I'll probably play like Rocket League just to test out on the stream to see how it works. So I think, yeah, I'm thinking in the future, yeah, I'm fine if I just stream only on Twitch or go back and forth where, I stream, where there'll be some days where I'll stream on just Twitch or I'll just stream only on YouTube because I'm creating content as I'm streaming. I'm just, I'm not just streaming, you know, I, there's a point to my stream. Just like, there's a point to a video when I record a video. There's a point to it. Otherwise, if there's no point to the video, then video is just, what's the point of this video? It's just going to be going in all just random directions like there's no point to it. It's like going to be hard to edit if there's no point to your video. You see what I'm saying? So there is no point to this live stream would be hard to edit. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of what I do. I'm a content creator. I just like to create content as I do it. Cause I enjoy doing it. I like doing it. And I'll probably keep doing it regardless of what my status is on whatever platform. You know, Twitch lets you do actual test streams that are private, right? Huh? Yeah, I know. I tried that already. That's if you're not, like, yeah, you go under settings. And you hit enable bandwidth test mode. That's what you're talking about. I figured I'd try it, like, do it like here live to see how it works after just doing that it's a good guy to configure OBS though again this is kind of what I was looking at like, like as I see I'm, I'm streaming from my graphics card like I've always have been since I got it and so you said they changed the bitrate to 4500 now over here on Twitch that's kind of what I have in my encoder now and over on YouTube, hold on, where is it? I'm trying to find it. It's around here somewhere. I'm trying to find out what tab was it. Was it this tab? Yeah, this is the tab right here. Your encoder for like YouTube. See if I was gonna steal. I feel like either way I look at it, Lincoln, you know, affiliates seems like it's inevitable that it's gonna happen. Unless I find another platform that I stream on. Like if I do choose stream on like Facebook, Twitch, and, and YouTube, you know what I mean? Because it seems like if I'm only streaming on Twitch and YouTube, I'm probably mostly only on Twitch. You know what I mean? Because the live reaction streams, I only stream on Twitch. I don't do live reaction streams on YouTube. Because when you think about it, you'll know, understand why. You have a lot of tabs open. Yeah, I know that. I'm aware of that. I can close out so. I do that. Yeah, I know. What is that open for? Because it shows you the recommended down here. Hmm, not the six new. Like right here. If I was going to do this, see over here it's at 4100, but I'm not doing 60 frames. I'm just doing this one. The bitrate range is at least somewhere between 3000 and 6000. So I have my bitrate at like 4500 right now. So if I, I just don't want to take the chances of. The stream like crashing again and I have to restart the stream because it's been doing that since past three streams when I was multi-stream but so right now I'm just streaming only on on Twitch right now that's basically what I'm doing so yeah what you saw there 
This is kind of the one I'm doing right now. So I have somewhere the range in between 3,000 and 6,000. I, I did 4,500. But I'm not shooting at 60 frames per second. It's just 30 frames per second. That's what I'm doing. So I'm somewhere in between this bit, right? So I could probably still do a little multi streaming. I could probably still do that. But yeah, that's that. The only obstacle is the average viewer thing. You know, that's all it is. And you kind of understand what I'm getting at now, right? Like, you know, how. Unless I find another platform, sure. like I'm kind of at this point after Mixer's gone, I feel like I'm okay with just streaming only on Twitch and only at YouTube from time to time. You know, I feel like I'm okay with that. Unless I choose to stream on Facebook alongside YouTube and Twitch or something, because I'm always multi stream. You know, like regardless whether I want to go Philly or not, it seems like that could just happen at some point. Like, yeah, I know I'm choosing not to do it, like, private. Private's only if you have the test mode thing under settings. Like, I just explained a while ago. You go to stream, set, you go on settings on OBS, and then click on the stream, under stream, and then hit the checkbox where it says enable bandwidth test mode. If that's what you're talking about with doing a private. You know, yeah, I was using that guide and also using the one on YouTube to figure out what kind of bitrate I would use if I was multi stream. But now here I'm just doing a test stream only on Twitch because I want to avoid the stream just crashing up. So I guess I can do a test of see how it looks when I'm playing Rocket League or something. Let's, I have my controller here, but if it goes two player again, and I'll, I guess I'll just use the keyboard and mouse. Unless is that just happening with Steam? The controller doing that when I play? That seems to only happen with Rocket League, to be honest. My controller doing that? I know it only happened with Rocket League. But kind of understand where I'm going here with what I've set up already, right? Like, you know, so either way I look like, look at it, it seems like that's going to happen whether, whether I want it to happen or not. So either way, at some point I'm not going to be able to multi-stream with Twitch anymore. That's what I'm saying. At some point in the future, that will probably happen. But regardless whether it does or doesn't, I feel like at this point, yeah, I'm fine with just... Plus, I can always easily export my VODs onto YouTube. That's what Twitch has the, supports you know, the ability of being able to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm choosing not to do this privately. I'm choosing to do it where I'm actually live and not doing a test bandwidth because I want to see well there's a difference between actually like the testing it live or privately or not because when you do it live you can kind of like see what it would look like but because you don't do it like you don't do it privately well, if you do it privately, you're not going to be able to see what the quality looks like on the stream. You only see, like, the bitrate quality where, you know, it changes from green to yellow and red. I saw that it was doing that a lot. It was doing that a lot to me on these past three streams while I was multi-stream. Why? Because ever since Mixer shut down, I also noticed, like I just showed you, Twitch and YouTube, they changed their bit rates, they increased it. I used to have them 3500, now I increased it to 4500. So, I think 4500, I guess, is okay with rate. But I guess I need to do a test stream on just YouTube, if I stream on YouTube. I feel like I may just do that in the future. As a thing is, I only started multi streaming when there was Mixer and Twitch, and now that Mixer's gone, yeah. I kind of feel like I'm not sure where else I would want to multi-stream onto at this point. And again, like I already said, yeah, like I already said a while ago, whether I try to get affiliate or not, it seems like it's, like when I said everyone I knew on Mixer, I was networking, I had a whole lot of networking going on on Mixer, it seems like everyone I knew at Mixer is now over here on Twitch, you know what I mean? So, 
Well, you guys keep hosting and reading me and stuff and things like that. It seems like it's going to happen at some point, whether I want to or not. And even when it happens, you're not going to be able to hold your stream with Twitch anymore. And so whether I choose to or choose to continue multi-streaming or not, at some point I'm probably not going to be able to use Twitch. As I looked at it, now, and however way I look at it, I the way I see this is however way I keep looking at it, I always see it ending up with just me streaming on just one or the other at some point. You know, since there's no more Mixer, you guys are all over on Twitch. Seems like the networking is going to happen a lot more on Twitch since there's no Mixer. And I will probably only be streaming on those two Twits if I'm not streaming on YouTube at times because I'm doing a lot of reaction to sometimes. That's that. I think you probably are going to be mostly streaming on Twits. You know, it's YouTube. You see what I'm saying? I kind of think you can see how it's going to happen at some point. Because it feels like it's inevitable whether I want it to happen or not. You know, feel your thing. So, either way, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm okay with it. At the same time, it's like, yeah, like whatever, you know, as I was thinking a lot about some point, like, yeah, I feel like I'm going to just stream on single platforms, as I've been having a lot, I've been putting a lot of thought into this, thinking a lot about how I'm going to do that in the future, after since Mixer was gone and such. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'm kind of looking at my screen at the same time while I'm talking, because I'm, like, looking over what I was talking about, so... Like, yeah, I can keep multi-streaming, but like I said, the reason I'm not is because I don't want to risk it crashing again. But, and that's the whole point of that streaming to begin with. But, like, yeah, I'm going to do another stream later on, which is over Deceit. You know, Deceit has a summer event. Yeah, I'm going to check out that later on tonight. Before 8 o'clock at least, my time, so... Yeah, I'm gonna at least try and stream on just Twitch. Like I did when I did a live reaction stream over Xbox Game Showcase. Remember that? I did a live reaction stream over that. And I already uploaded on YouTube. So, yeah. But, either way, everything that I do still ends up on YouTube anyway. So, yeah, like. I don't know, maybe I will upload this. I probably will upload this file up on YouTube just to explain in the near future that I may not do multi stream So if you want to catch wherever I may go live, you know, you have to follow me on all my social media if you want to catch wherever I may end up. And sometimes they not always be on YouTube streaming or they not always be streaming on Twitch because I might just be streaming on YouTube or I might just be streaming on Twitch when I'm not multi streaming on both at the same time anymore. You see what I'm saying? That's why I think maybe if I upload this time, Anyone who sees this will be aware of that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. If you've seen this on YouTube, then yeah. Then it's uploaded. If I choose to upload it. But yeah, I probably will after what I just said. Not just now, but I was thinking that as I started this. So, alright, let's do a little test to see how things work. When I jump into Rocket League, it's just a test stream. Yeah. Like I'm doing it right. Just checking out. Because the only thing that's obstacle I have right now is average viewers. And when you think about it, yeah. Well, yeah, like, you know, I, like I said earlier, if I did continue to multi-stream at some point, I'm not going to be able to continue multi-stream with Twitch. If I did start to do Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube, it'll probably end up just doing Facebook and YouTube and we'll deal with multi-stream with Twitch. But... I'll probably still try and stream on Twitch because, oh, in fact, you can export your VOD straight from Twitch on YouTube. There's that. So it seems like the option of me, like, just streaming on just Twitch alone and then YouTube alone sometimes, that seems like that's that's what, probably what I'm going to go with in the future. I mean, the only channels that mix, I mean, excuse me, Restream doesn't have a doesn't have caffeine yet. These are the only channels that Restream has, basically. I mean, these are the only channels they have. Like, Facebook, Mixer's gone. I don't know why it's still here, but this is gone. It's shut down. Yeah. Yeah. Here it is. Shut down, of course. Oh, that's the 
it. We just like to play uh, Nixer.com and put slash outside so far in here. It'll still say this as it's shut down. So, yeah, anyways, yeah. It's only this, this, and this. Like, I couldn't do this. Probably not gonna use personal profile. Group and profile public pages. That's the one I have that I'm using right now. I'm using this. So, it'd probably be just this. This and this, if I was still in the multi stream, at some point, I'm not gonna be able to multi stream with Twitch anymore. At some point in the future, as that at this rate, it seems like that's gonna happen at some point. And there's, of course, there's Periscope on like Twitter, you know, like, ugh, I know there's two of them. I just use this one. This is like the old one, this is the new current one, Control Room. This is, it's like, what are all these other platforms? They're not very popular, all the ones they have. I don't see, see Caffeine's not in here, but D-Live's in here, and that's pretty much it. Like, I could go Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, and D-Live if I wanted to go all four or five of those. If I wanted to keep a little it. But, like I said, I feel like at some point, now yeah, I'm fine with just... Because everything with what I'm trying to do is kind of on Twitch. Like the ability to be able to export your pods on YouTube and kind of what I do with the whole content creating with creating videos and such. Seems like just going with Twitch seems like I'm, you know, the, with what I'm trying to do and such. It seems like it just works out fine. You know what I mean? Link in them. We can think about it. Yeah, there's Steam. Hey, go multi stream on the Steam. I have not tried that before. I think I've actually streamed on St Steam one time. I kind of did, actually. It's not that hard to stream on, on Steam. But I don't know how you get your face cam on Steam. That's the thing. Is there even a face cam for Steam? As I tried it, I couldn't get my face cam on Steam. Because you get your like recorded microphone in there. I don't know, how, how do you get the VOD, you know, the recorded VOD? I think it, it, it downloads onto your desktop after you finish live streaming. It gets, ends up on your, yeah, D-Live. So, Daily Motion, all these other, like, unpopular ones. Good game, Smashcast. I've, I've seen this major league anyway. Just, nah, I don't know. Kind of mad about that one. Like, I've been to the website to that. But that's just me with how I feel about it. Picardo. If I did stream only on, if on Twitch, this, this, and this, or this. If I kept multi streaming, yeah, I could do that. Sure, I could do that if I kept doing that. But yeah. All right. Like you saw here on the average viewers, there's. Showed a while ago on the channel analysis. 11 average viewers, 2 average viewers, 1.5. That's what it says here. Now let's just look at it again. And look, see it. Like this thing earlier. This is from this past week. 11, 2, 1.5, 3.3, 11 average. 0 0.9, I know. 0.7, so sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. 0.7, 2.9, just 2.5, all oh, right around there, to average. When you get on a Google event, but see when I'm multi streaming, it all adds up total. It's not just on this platform now, as I'm also streaming on the other platforms, not just this platform. If I continue to stream only on this platform, then yeah, because when you multi stream, you're Total of views adds up from the platforms you're on. You do kind of get, end up with more viewers on multi street. But of course, there's an upside downside to both of them. That, there's, there's that 9.2. Yeah. It's, that happens every now and then. This happens and such. Like when Old Man Wiser hosts in the area, you host in the area, Dad does it sometimes, or someone else that I know does it. Yeah. That's been happening quite often. It seems like it's going to happen more often. Now that Mixer's gone, and it's just here. You know, you guys are all here and no longer on Mixer. It seems like network is going to happen more often than Twitch. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Whether, regardless whether I do the affiliate or not, it seems like it's going to 
I see all the obstacles just to be right there. That's just what it says right now. But yeah. Mm hmm. That's just. But yeah, I never really cared much for that. Never really bothered or was never concerned. Because I always had the mindset where, regardless of what my status was on the platform, I've always been doing this because I enjoyed doing it. That's. The only reason why I see him doing this is I like making videos. And I keep doing that regardless of how many subs or views or whatever I have. And all that over time just, it just grows over time as you progress with persistent perseverance. Whether you try to get more or not, it's gonna grow over time. You see what I'm saying? Because it has ever since I started to, you know? Yeah, I have way more, like, than I did when I first started, things like that. Yeah, doesn't happen when you want to happen, but you get what I'm saying. You guys can understand what I'm saying, okay? Right? Yeah. All right. Anyway, let me just. Yeah, I know there's a lot of tabs open. I can close out those tabs. I just have them open. I gotta start up, Stu. What the heck? But Stu is start up. Never mind. So, yeah, I was going to check out the summer event with Deceit later on today. Take the what? Lunar Plunge. So, August 18th. Something for Trove. Trove has events. Trove. has never really played Trove. Summer event. Wait, what am I looking at? You guys don't even know what I'm looking at. Ah! I didn't show you guys. Yeah. But, not Deceit. Deceit later. Rocket League for now, so we're gonna start. We're gonna just, just part of this test stream. I gotta try and do Rocket League and see how things go. What happened? What do you mean? Do you have an accident, accident pass? You are so beautiful, man. I love you. Uh, what the heck? Do you have the accident pass? No. What happened? I was born this way. That was weird. It's called Treacher Collins Syndrome. It's a mutation, a genetic disorder. Yeah, you know, droop ties, you know, deformed ears, you know, my ears are deformed. But you're like, Ugh. <laughs> ah, oh god, look, just, I'll pull my ears, why do I do that every time I do that? This is a joke, I don't know, that hurt, that actually doesn't really hurt, actually. Yeah, deformed ears, uh, droop ties, small chin, you know, no cheekbones, it's just, it's a mutation. So, yeah, I'm actually a real live mutant in real life. I'm a mutant in real life. Yeah. Huh. For real. Too bad I don't have any mutant powers yet. Unless I haven't discovered what them yet. If I do have any mutant powers. Like, what are they? I don't know. I haven't discovered my own mutant powers yet. I can join the x Men. Yeah, that's funny. If they're real. Well. They're only real in another reality. They're just not real in our reality. In our reality, they're fiction. And they're part of a comic book. Then again, there's a comic book of the X-Men in the, the like, you ever watch the, the X-Men movies? You see, there's actual comic books of the X-Men themselves. As if, oh, they are somewhere real out there. You know, they're, they're actual comic books of the X-Men themselves. You know, it's like, oh, they're real in their own movie. But, you know, it's, it's weird. Like, you see the movie Logan? There is an actual X-Men comic book in the movie Logan. And yet, wait, are they real? Or why is there a comic book of them? Yet? It seems like they're standing right there like they're real. It's just a movie in the movie. Yeah. Funny how they put the comic book and the actual characters like as if they were alive and just all together in the same movie. It's just like they just think, oh, they actually they're real and though there's a comic book written about them. It's, that's funny. Blurs the line between fiction and reality. Hmm. I don't know. No, that doesn't really. All right, let's see if I start up this game. See if it works. Don't, well, if it, I have to use my game, I have to use my keyboard if the game controller stops working, you know? So, yeah, here we go. What the freak? Oh, there we go. There it is. Ah! What? Oh, that just happened. 
Yeah. All right. It was weird. It work. Ah. Why does it do that? How do I fix that? Oh, that's no good. I've seen the bitrate quality on the uh, on OBS. It went from yellow and it's going red to green. How do I fix that? The quality look bad on your end because I can't see what it looks like. Lincoln, I'm telling you the quality looks bad. Huh? Quality is looking bad, isn't it? It's just a test stream of Hot Rocket League. Doing a test stream of Like I'm seeing, did OBS update where the bitrate color constantly changes because it's not a steady green anymore for some reason. No, it's not a steady green anymore. It's not a steady green. Because I'm wondering if OVS like up to tunes or something. From the bit, like the bitrate quality. I don't know about the stream, though. And yet it keeps saying it's excellent, like there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, why is it going in red and orange? It's kind of orange and yellow and then goes back to green. The quality. So I'm having trouble with the stream quality. How am I going to stream the thing he was doing this? It was doing this while I was multi streaming. So I'm trying to fix the bit rate. I don't know why. Even when I just did this. So alright, I'm going to just play you. Play online. So play in Rocket League. Just a test stream. I don't know if I'm actually gonna... So it looks like it's already, like, not doing well. You there, Lincoln? -o? Hey, Lincoln. -o. Oh boy. Ah! Lincoln. -o. You there? Ah, oh, jeez. Did, did OPS update for the... I mean, the... Because the bit rate... The quality of the bit rate, the color goes from green, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, now it's red. Okay, yep, yeah, stream is not doing well. Stream is not looking... Oh, I can only imagine if the stream looks messed up or not. Huh? You there, Lincoln? Up? Hey, I can just lurk him. I guess you're lurking. Well, anybody. Is there anyone there? Oh, jeez. No. Okay. Yeah, we have to restart the stream, of course. Well, just because the change the bit right, pretty much. Like, I did a test mode in private. But don't, you still don't actually see what the stream actually looks like when doing that. Privately. Oops. There we go. Uh, I still have all the anniversary stuff. Yeah, it looks like like it, it's doing the spike. The bit rate like it has a big spike at some point. The internet connection. Now it looks like it's just fine. Like it's just green. It's steady green now. Oh, now it's yellow again. The bit rate quality. You know what I'm talking about, right? You guys are even listening. No, besides lurking. I know you guys mostly lurk in my chat. So you guys mostly do. That happens a lot. That's the lurk. Lurk! That's not good. Wait, no, that is good. Sure it is. The assist. No! No! Why does that happen? I don't understand why that happens. Wow. I don't understand that one bit. My controller's flashing. See, I don't know why that's just been happening now. I even restarted my computer a while ago. See, my controller's flashing. See that? Why is it flashing like that? It just started doing that. It's probably gonna go to player two again. I don't know why. It's, it does this when I play Rocket League. For some reason, my controller does this every time I play Rocket League. 
That seems like it's only been doing this as I play Rogue League. Like, what the heck? Same controller. Feels like it's losing connection or something. For me, player one. It's gonna go to player two, I just know it. It's gonna force me to use my keyboard. Again, at some point. Either way, I'm gonna try and restart the stream. Looks like the stream quality is doing okay now. Like, I feel like OPS like updated with the whole bitrate. Like, it, it's only changing color because of the bitrate. Like, is it increasing or decreasing? Like, it does a spike at one point. I don't know. Plus, the internet is just. There's so many people using the network nowadays because of the whole pandemic thing going on. A lot of people are on the internet a lot more than normal. That's my point. And it used, there's more people than normal using up the, the network, the internet connection. So, of course, that's probably one possible reason why my bandwidth is like having trouble and why I lose connection to my live streams and such. You know what I mean? Yeah. Seems like it's one reason. I don't know why it's doing what it's doing. I don't like that. Yeah, that was weird. Stop it. Oh, I can even see over here. Performance. Too few. Yeah, that's weird. I can even see. But what is it? I don't know why it's... My controller's acting weird. Oh, wow, that happened. I don't know how the stream, call, the stream looks like. I have to, have to rewatch this. Ah! Jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah. That was weird. Man, yeah, that happened. Dang it. Yep. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. I don't know why my controller is doing this. My controller is flashing while I'm playing this. Ah! Ah! Almost got it. Just near if I do a little okay. I think it has much trouble with the ball. Oh dang it. No. Oh. Whoever that is scored. See my controller's still flashing, look at that. Still flashing. I don't know why that happens when I play Rugged. And it goes to switches to player two. The controller stuck ends up being player two at one point. Why am I having so much trouble with the bit ring? Don't like it. Ugh. Uh, no. Ah. Come on. Over there. Ah. Stay rock. I still have the anniversary stuff. Probably at least fifth anniversary. Ah. Uh, what happened? Oh, there we go. Look at there. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, I'm turning the light on in my room. I feel like the quality of the stream is not doing well at all. Not kidding. No drop frames. I have no drop frames. Is that like. I don't know if that's like normal OBS or not, but. but I'm like. Wondering, did OBS do an update where you constantly, actively see how the bit rate is going, like, it increases or decreases? Weird. Alright, we're gonna do one more game. Ugh, cause I don't know, I'm not sure what I changed the bit rate to. Oh yeah, I'm doing 4500. 
Why would that not work? Makes no sense. 10 and 30 frames per second. I don't know what's wrong with the bit rate. It's probably just, you know what I think it is? It's just there's more people using up the internet than normal. Than, like, say before the whole pandemic thing happened. Like, people aren't using the internet as much as there's more people using the internet than normal before the pandemic. Since the pandemic has been going on, there are more people using the internet more than usual. And there are so many people using the network all at once. And I think that's why the internet connection is not doing so well. You know what I'm talking about? That could be one of the reasons why I lose connection and such. And they not just be my encoder settings, but also just the internet with the bit rate. Entirely for how people are using it. Like when you try and watch a video on YouTube, you see it buffering a whole lot. Because there's so many people using the internet instead of just me. You know, a lot more than normal. If you get what I'm talking about, I'm saying here. It looks like it's okay, and it also looks like it's not doing really okay. So I'm pretty sure that's not the stream quality, that's the stream's bitrate quality. See, now it's orange and, and went to orange and red. I don't know if the screen got all pixelated and everything. I'd imagine if, oh, it's not stream like crashes or losing connection. I'd imagine something like that were to happen. Yeah, and I also noticed I haven't even. Well, oh, jeez. Ah. Oh man. There we go, get out of here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Oh <laughs> yeah. Woo! That is just wow. Wow. Oh, I can't find the mouse. Mouse is not on screen. Why is it still flashing? I don't like how my game controller keeps flashing. It's weird. It's constantly flashing, but it's not switching to player two, it's staying on player one. Weird. I'll probably see what I'm talking about after this next shot if I can make it go in the Ah Get out of here. Get that ball. Yeah, there we go. Oh, come on. It's like there's something wrong with my voice today. Ah, oh, weird. My oh, voice cracking. Yeah, so, ugh, feels like it kind of is. Ah, damn it. Ugh. No! I couldn't say that. No, we are not. Wait, is that you? What? Link Andrew. No, that's not Link in him. It can't be Link in him. This guy right here. That's not Lincoln, that can't be Lincoln. Him. That's not Lincoln him at all. It says Link Andrew. Nope, not Lincoln. Him. <laughs> ah! Oh, why do I do that? I need to do something about that. I don't know why it comes up in the top corner there. Oh! Seven point. Yeah, that happened. Oh, jeez. I don't know what else to set the bit rate to. It's gonna keep doing it, what it's doing. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's like, it's like, is there like something that's changed and I'm not understanding here with OBS? Dude, seriously, what the heck? 
Oh my face. Hackers popping into the and such. Ow. Oh, yeah, my face. Hey. Ah, I'm out of assist. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Oh. Did it. I think it's just a spike when it goes into red. Now it's yellow and red. I'm just describing what the color looks like on OBS. If you use OBS, you know what I'm talking about. The bit rate. I have no drop frames. QVS is like 4700 and 35. Oh god. I did not do that, it was not me. Nobody blew up. Get out of here. Come on. Yeah, I did it. There we go. Ah. In the barn. Hey, all right, great, cool, score. Sweet. Not bad. I don't know, I haven't got a single score. See, now it's yellow. I don't know how bad the string quality looks. Ah. Or it's just because I have my web browser open. I should close it out on the stream one. You know, better you can close out your web browser when you're playing any sort of full screen game, you know? Otherwise, why have your web browser open? Ah! And there we go. Time, they win. Ah! Hi, 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 hi. Ah! <laughs> Do a test stream, I'm trying to test the stream out here. Did OBS update or something like where it'd be constantly changing the, the bitrate quality or something? Because I see it randomly go from green to yellow to, to orange and red. Red is like really bad. The bitrate, like it either spiked or something. You know what I'm talking about? If you stream and use OBS. Or if you see like, you know that like square, the green square, and it changes color to like green, yellow, and red, like your bit rate quality or whatever it's talking about. You know what I'm talking about, right? No? Hawaiian, hold on. Hawaiian horse. Yeah, Yo, you know what I'm talking about, Hawaiian horse? I'm trying to see if I can, was reading your name right or not. Oh, they want to party up. Eh, why not, I guess. Hold on, wait, why did I do that? No, nope, just go back again. Jeez, never mind. Yeah, does is the, is the quality look okay on the stream? I feel like, I don't know, if that's like now a normal thing with OBS, because I've never seen OBS change the color of the bitrate. The quality, oh, see now it looks like it's orange. Oh, now it's red, that is bad. Green is good, red is bad. You know what I mean? It's good on my end. See, why does the stream quality look okay? But OVS keeps showing it to orange and red from yellow to green. If you know what I'm talking about on OVS. It's literally doing that and that shows, tells me it's a bad sign that it's doing that. It should stay like at least green as it stay green. So now it's like orange again. And I think it's doing that because it hits like a spike or something in the bitrate. I think it's just doing that now. The usual because of more and more people are using the internet than normal. You know. 
because of the whole thing of what's going on. Like before the whole pandemic thing, not many people are using the internet like they're as there are now. You know what I'm saying? Like you ever try and try and watch a YouTube video, you can notice that it keeps buffering a lot. Because there are other people using their internet just as much as you are. A lot more than normal. You see what I'm saying? Like your stream kind of also, yeah, there's other people using the network, the internet, all at once. And it kind of, like your internet connection gets slowed down just for the sake for others to use their internet. Things like that happen. I think that's why my, my internet quality is not doing so well. My past three streams have been cutting off and I had to restart the stream. I think that's what's been happening. Ooh, but it's, it's good here. You say it looks good. Like, I'm not restreaming right now. I'm only streaming on YouTube. And then, oh, excuse me. I'm only streaming on Twitch right now. So I'm trying to test out the stream and see how the stream goes. Wish I could see what it actually looks like. But I'm not seeing what it looks like. I know what it looks like on OBS, but I don't know what it looks like on your end. That's my point. Uh, there we go. No, why did I do that? No! Get out of my way! Ah, What the heck, man? Ling. Ling. Stupid. Hey, get out of my way. Man, it sucks. You know what you mean, but alright. Glad to see it's good there. Huh. I know it's something. As a chat, you would have been appearing on screen. You know what I mean? The chat. Chat has not appeared on screen at all, has it? You know how I usually have the chat come up on screen at some points? Has it come up on screen at all? Say something in the chat. I guess that's a new thing with OBS. Where it's constantly changing color. Just say how high. Oh! No, yeah, I see it come up on screen. There, you said no, and you can see it on screen, or it says no. You can see your message pop up on screen. You said no, that's just all it came on screen. No. Oh, it's not a new thing like where OBS updated, and I don't know what's wrong. Like, well, I don't know what else to change the bitrate to on OBS. I really don't know what else to change it to. I'm not sure how other changes I would need to even put on the encoder. I'm not even multi-streaming right now. I'm just streaming only on Twitch right now. It's just, ugh. Yeah, I don't know what else to do at this point. It's like there's nothing else I can do with the encoder. Not sure what else to even change. Got it. Ah, ah nice. I'm only playing this game just to, for, to test the stream out. You're telling me it looks okay and everything. Yeah. <sighs> See, it keeps flashing for some odd reason. I don't know why it's doing that. My freaking game controller, every time I play this game, this game controller does that. Unless it goes over to player two and forces me to use the, the keyboard and mouse. No, yeah. Ah. What, what, what am I doing? Yeah, thank you for saving that. Ah, dang it, man. I hate when they do that. Seriously. That's so annoying. Dude, really, what the heck? Wow, oh, in my way. Yep, far ahead. No, this game is fun. But it's hard to play. Yeah, I know, right? Oh no, it is hard to play. I find that from my own experience too. Like, I don't see how it would not be hard to play. I don't think that's just your, like you just said. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Right, I know. I'm only playing this because I'm trying to test out the stream and stuff too. How, if I need to change anything. You guys are telling me it's, it doesn't seem like I need to change anything with the stream. From what you guys are telling me, apparently. Nah. Because you guys haven't seen anything wrong with the stream, apparently you haven't. 
No. No. Nope. You haven't said anything of whether I need to or not. Probably have only played about nine, five hours of this. Uh, yeah. I play it from time to time. Mostly around the seasonal events. I'm only playing this game like right now because I'm trying to test out to see how the stream goes well while I'm playing a, a game that uses so much motion and it causes like you know the stream's bit rate and all that that's the only reason why I'm playing this right now Fox Tank Gain of Blueprint. There are no like collectible candy corn or anything like that. <laughs> you had to collect a bunch of balloons for an anniversary event. Yeah. Hey, yeah, those emotes. What the heck you do with the emotes? Number one! Yeah. <laughs> emotes. So you found them on screen. That's a uh, restream chat. I used to I used to multi stream. So I'm just gonna test that stream with. What if I end this? Well, you guys are telling me nothing's wrong with the stream. Hi, hi, yeah, it's uh, funny. Uh, well, yeah, you guys are telling me there's nothing wrong with the stream. And yet I look on OBS, I notice the bitrate quality. It goes from it goes from green. Green is good. Red is bad. Goes from green to yellow, orange, and then red. You know, I think it's like a spike in the the bitrate connection or whatever. Cause I see it go green to orange or lime green at times. That's why I keep seeing. You guys are saying nothing's wrong. Hope the Cause I'm not streaming on OBS right now. No, I'm not streaming on restream right now. I'm streaming only on Twitch right now. And if the stream crashes, I'll have to restart it. I don't know, I'll probably have to do some adjustments to stream. I probably just may go back to 720p or something. 720 instead of 1080. Because I'm streaming on 1080. 1080 with 30 frames per second. I might have to go back to 720 with 30, 30 frames per second. Uh, I may have to just do that. Or 720 with 60 frames per second. If I stream on Twitch alone, or maybe just do 720 period, you know? Because I don't know, it's just not working anymore. Doesn't look like it. Maybe, seems like it. If the bitrate quality keeps doing that, not the stream quality, the bitrate. Because I've seen it goes to red and orange sometimes. It's right now, it's on steady green. That's why I noticed. It's not sharp enough for you. What do you mean? Oh, okay. No, the bitrate quality. Oh, it says 5,000 right now. Now it says lime green. 5,000. 5,000 again. The bitrate keeps going into 5,000. I have it set to 4,500. 4,500. That's why I have the bitrate set to. I'm assuming on Twitch. For 1080p, 30 frames per second. Cause that's a recommended, like what else would I change it to if I didn't change it to that, you know? Yeah, that's what it tells me it's said to. Yeah, it seems to like, every now and then it changes to orange and red, or long green. It says 5,000 to 4, like 4,000, like 4,700, 48, 49, 39, 38, it's constantly changing the bit rate. Quality, bitrate quality, not stream quality, like how the visual, the, the actual stream looks aside from the bitrate. I think it gets in red too much and it's unstable, you know? But for some reason it keeps telling me like it's stable. You know? I, I know it happens. I don't know if OBS chains and, and it's like, oh, it's just gonna do that like, like it's a normal thing. Like it's not gonna always stay on green, period. Unless it's not normal that it does that. Does it have anything to do with your teammates' locations since they are in your view? Does that cause it too? No, I don't think so. What just happened?
Uh, what? No, I wasn't. Seriously? I wasn't idling at all. I was not idling there. Stupid. God, Rocket League is ridiculous. How easy it is for it to assume that you're idling when you're not idling at all. I wasn't idling, I was playing there. What the heck? I don't know. Freaking stupid. Weird how Rocket League does that. How could it accuse you of idling when you're not? I don't know, whatever. That was stupid. What is that? Ew. You like yikes, I don't know why. What kind of that? What kind of emote is that? Even these bizarre looking emotes. <laughs> ah. Those look weird. Ooh, it went to orange spike. I feel like if that's a normal thing or not. We're gonna start another stream soon. Another one. Yeah, I'm gonna start another stream soon. After this test stream. Apparently it seems like it's going okay. You guys told me the stream was not doing bad or anything. I just hope it doesn't lose connection. I have to just restart the stream and lose connection. Because I, I honestly don't know what to do at this point with the bit rate and everything. I don't. No. Yeah, I don't know what to do at this point. I feel like I've tried everything with changing the bit rate and everything. See, I used to multi-stream, stream on multiple platforms. Well, I'm streaming on a single platform because I want to lessen the risk of just losing, like, connection after the restart stream or something like that. Just through restream. Because ever since Mixer died, a streaming platform I used to stream on, alongside Twitch and YouTube. Now I'm streaming only on Twitch and YouTube, but now it's just Twitch only. Hey, it's just going. Now I'm streaming only on Twitch right now. Maybe it's just a traffic issue. Yeah, like so many people using Airman at once. You mean that? Traffic issue. Like, there's a lot of people on the network using the internet all at once right now than normal. Of course, especially with this pandemic going on, there's a lot more people using the internet more than usual. Because normally, yeah, in my area, because normally people would be out at work. But then at this hour, people would be home from rush hour getting off of work at this hour. You know? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. This the internet's having trouble in this whole crazy time. Like, a lot of people are using video chat. Yeah, a lot of people are video chatting and, like, in this area, probably. That's why it's using up so much. Like, I don't know. The internet's just quality is not as great as usual. Yeah, that's a possible reason for why. So, yeah. It's a high bitrate thing. What? What's a high bitrate thing? What I was just talking about? Video chat would clog it up. Right, okay. I go to you. Jeez. This is still at 4,000. Yeah. Alright, well, you guys are telling me there's nothing wrong with the stream. Yeah. Sounds good. When I was streaming on multi streaming through Twitch and Nick's Twitch and YouTube earlier, it crashed on me. I don't know why, it was weird. That's what it did to me. What? Freaking controller. Weird. Ah. Yeah, it's all the anniversary stuff. Oh uh, boy. Hey, what the? Stop bumping into me. You gotta go eat dinner? Alright, dude. Thanks for stopping by. It was nice seeing you again. Hello, me, it's again. Goodbye. You have a. Uh, you enjoy your dinner. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Much appreciated. Why did I do that? That's so bad. Shoot. You know what I tried to do what I just did there? Bam! You enjoy your dinner. Alright, dude. See you later. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh, dang it. Hey, what the freak? 
No, I tried to save it. Did I? It just said epic save. That wasn't an epic save. What are you talking about? I barely touched it. Tell me it's an epic save when I barely touched it. Weird. Why would you knock it in? What is wrong with you? You're on the off. You're on our team. <laughs> wrong. Look, you just scored them at every point. Dang it. <laughs> Freaking teammate. That happens. I've done that before. God, watch where you're driving. Free. Well, no, no, no. Ah! <laughs> what? Yeah, what's wrong with you, Al? What do you mean, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with them? Oh, you always say stuff like that because you're. It's like you're trying to get a rise out of me or something, Lincoln. In. You always do. <laughs> and I, hey, shut up. Shut up. Shut up, Lincoln. Ah! <laughs> Stupid, it's funny though. Yeah, look. I saw what you've been posting in my Discord server about Many Star Online too. It's like, if I were to link it onto Steam, which I probably will for the Half-Life and Team Lords 2 and Portal 2, like the Valve stuff. Yeah, it's like, why not? I'm trying to get this. If I link it, I'll still be able to play on the Windows 10 version, right? Or Xbox version? Even if I link it to Steam? Or am I only able to play it on Steam because I linked it to Steam? So I can play on all three platforms. I can like pick up where I left off on either Steam or Windows 10, even if I link it on the Steam. Oh, right, okay. So if I link it to Steam, I'll still be able to play it on Windows 10. Cool. I'll just, that just means I'm able to play in more than one place at once. Not just Steam, not just Windows 10. Yeah, I like that. You can play on whatever platform you want. All right, I love that. That's crossplay. So yeah, I probably will link it. I dang it! Ah! 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 So frustrated! Ah! Trying to control the camera and like, ah! Like we're having technical difficulties. Please stand by. We have technical difficulties here. Ah, 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 look at that. We're good. We're back. Oh, all right. I'm good. Cleared off half of that rage in there. I was raging. No, if I wasn't. I'm just kidding. Eh, get it? That's funny. Hey, thanks for hosting Alien Whale. You can do whatever platform you want. I think I'm going to move on to Deceit Summer Event, Lincoln Hill. Maybe in like 30 minutes, I gotta restart the stream. I was, like, I was gonna try and stream on just Twitch tonight. So I feel like I've looked at it, and either way I look at it, it always comes to the conclusion where I know at some point I'm not gonna be able to multi-stream with Twitch anymore. Because I know that's gonna happen at some point, alright? I've looked at it, and every way I've looked at it, it seems like that's gonna happen. It just seems like it's inevitable. It's inevitable at some point that I'm going to get affiliate, whether I want to or not. I know the viewer, average viewer thing is the only, that's the only thing, but I know it's probably going to happen at some point. Without a doubt. Because, well, I'm not like trying to make it happen. I'm just saying it's going to, I know it'll probably happen at some point. I just stream to kind of create content, but this is just a test stream for my next stream. That's the whole point of this test stream. My next stream is me trying to, you know, Deceit Summer Event. I don't know what it's called. It's called Deceit Summer Event. Deceit Summer Event. I don't know what it's called, but it's just a summer event. Apparently. Weird. So, yeah. I'm only streaming on Twitch right now. Plus, well, so I can easily export the VOD to YouTube anyway. Or I'll just stream only on YouTube sometimes. I have to do a test stream over there. Ah. I think I, I think my stream's bit rate is just going from orange and red to yellow to green randomly, like I've been seeing on OBS. Even though you guys are telling me the stream looks fine, like there's nothing wrong with the stream on your ends. I guess it's just the internet connection. Yeah, it's probably just the internet connection. Like, there's some people video chatting right now because it's. Yeah, there's a lot of people video chatting during the pandemic, you know, more than normal. And that's probably why my internet connection is like that. So, yeah, it's... 
And also the fact that I lose connection after restart the stream. So, yeah. Because, plus it's easier to restart a stream when I'm streaming on a single platform. But if I'm multi-streaming, it's not very easy to just restart the stream just like that. It's not. Because I have to set the other stream back up again with YouTube. See what I'm saying? That's why even if I try to restart it, like I did with Little Brawlhalla on Heatwave. That's why it's... I mean, there's some, up, there's some upsides and downsides to multi-streaming and just streaming on a single platform. But everything has its trade-offs. You know. Yeah. Right, mine's just fine right now. It happens on live streams sometimes too. Twitch OBS shows that there are issues, but the streams seem fine. Oh, you're seeing somewhere? You're seeing what the stream's bitrate is somewhere? Are you looking at it? What it says for me? Somewhere? Like, are you seriously seeing? You're not? Like, you're a mod. You can go on the mod channel, right? <laughs> Unless you made alien whale a lot. Oh, why not? I could do that. You're like, no. Okay, that's fine. I don't know if I play another one or just... Because I'm only playing this game just to test out the stream. That's the only reason why I'm playing this. God, this is still flashing. Look at that. Still flashing. Also, I noticed my webcam was smaller. I'm not zoomed in like... Ah! Really close to the camera. Huh. Hey there, Mew Force. What's up, Mew Force? Half of sweat shoots on them too, that's what I'm saying. Wait, what? What did I just say? That made you say that's what I'm saying. Yeah, link dead gamers emotes. Huh. I was like, I wonder what my own emotes are gonna be like. If I ever get emotes someday. <laughs> you get it? You thought what ever happened. Wonder what Ooh, that went to orange. Your stream does that too? It goes into orange or red? It does that to you sometimes? Really? Oh snap, it just went to orange and red. I think that's a normal thing with OBS nowadays then. It literally just went to red and orange. But you guys are saying the stream quality is okay. Like there's nothing wrong with the stream. But there's no issue. Yeah, that's so weird. Is that just a thing with, with Twitch? So that's just a thing with Twitch then. How on? Because when I was streaming this perfect, that's what you're saying. How on? Uh, I guess it's telling me like, oh, the bitrate spike or the bitrate is getting low momentarily, basically. Yeah, I guess that's the thing with Twitch. It started doing that ever since Mixer died. You see, when I was streaming Restream FTL, but now I can't do Restream FTL. That's the light. Because you're streaming from Mixer onto Twitch and YouTube. Now I can't do that anymore. Now it's just... Yeah. Oh! Wow, that is bad. Whoa, whoa. Did you guys notice anything odd and bad on the stream just now? It just went pure red. I saw it go pure red. Pure red. I mean, that just kind of alarms me. It feels like that's a bad sign for the stream. It went pure red. I wonder if that was like 6,000 or something. I didn't see that, no. Stream is still perfect. What the heck? It's so weird. I think that's what streaming on just Twitch alone is like. Because I always multi-stream. This is like, this is the second time. The second time I've ever streamed on a single platform, which is Twitch. I'm only streaming on Twitch right now. The second time that's... The second time I'm streaming on a single platform, because I've always multi-streamed. And it feels like at some point due to I probably just may string on a single black one. Yeah. I like multi-streaming, but... Either way I look at it, I know at some point I won't be able to multi-stream with Twitch anymore. And that'll happen at some point. Since everyone that I've networked with on Mixer is now on Twitch. So... You know, you think about it, I looked at it every way I look at it. It's just, it all ends and leads to just a feeling of happening at some point for me, whether I want it to happen or not, you know? Because all of these people that I know from Mixer are here on Twitch, and the more you guys keep hosting and raiding me and such, it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. 
so yeah unless yeah whether i continue multi-streaming or not then it's gonna happen and it seems like networking is gonna happen more often on twitch since mixer's gone you know so yeah plus i have been getting some viewers here and there when i'm streaming on youtube yeah i have actually been getting quite a few viewers on on youtube I got a few more subs on YouTube also. Well, that was probably due to you guys if we were on there, but I don't know what am I saying. Whatever. But, yeah, whatever. Well, no, no, that. Ah, what the? What's that? No, it's not Lincoln. No. You're not even playing this game. I thought you tried to stream snipe and join me on the sun. That's what it looked like. That's what I thought on the sun. I don't read in the chat. Stream is perfect. Stream is perfect. I'm gonna break your. Sorry, headphone users. No, I'm not. Oh, God, my ears. Okay, neither I'm sorry that time. A little bit. I'm not gonna do that third loop. It's a joke. I'm not being so mean. There we go. Yeah, score it. Look at him, I left the building. Nah, they're just lurking. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at him, is lurking. I say there, because you don't know what that user is, a he or she. That's why I say they're just lurking. It's not always a he or she that's lurking. You know? That's why I say they're just lurking. Well, it may not always be leaking him. So I'm not gonna say he's just lurking. Huh, that's just my alert. That's the alert though. What's it called? Yeah. Ah. Ah, I'm gonna restart the stream and start up uh, to see. That's what I'm doing after this test stream. So I guess, I guess the stream is okay. Yeah, like even when I did a private test stream, like, you know, I did a private one where it wasn't where you don't actually, you basically can't see the stream. It's a test mode or whatever. And you test me the, you can't see the, you can't see the stream at all. All you see is the bitrate and everything. You don't see no frames or anything. It said it was stable. And you guys are telling me it's looking good. Just hope it doesn't crash, but I guess it crashing is just a normal thing because of the pandemic. A lot of people are using up the internet through video chat. So that's probably another reason for it why, so I guess I can't really do that. Nice hit. Oh, did I actually hit it? Oh, snap. Not good. That's my goal. Yeah, I guess it was a nice hit. I guess so. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Hey, what the freak, man? My god. Nice hit. Yeah. This ah. was a nice hit. I wasn't quite paying attention. I don't quite remember what kind of hit I just did. There we go. Nice. Yes. Not score. Score. It's good. It's just good. Score. Score. Oh. Uh, yeah, if you want to join that Discord, you can. It's up to, up to you guys. If you want. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Ah. 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 
I'm sure there's a lot of people who caught more than that. Sweet. <sighs> Alright, I don't know if that would be my last game or not since it's 8 o'clock and 21 minutes. It's 8.21 p.m. So I might start my next stream after this test stream. So far, I l no, honestly, it looks like this test stream was okay. Yeah, this is an okay test stream. That's what you guys are saying. So weird. I'm using the keyboard right now. Now I'm using the Google controller again. Esports Live. Whoa, look at that. This is Esports Live. You see that? True, true. Yeah, that was the whole point of this stream was to test how the stream quality goes. You guys told me that it was like perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. Even though OBS is like showing like huge bad signs. Look at this, eSports live? Live now? <laughs> well, what? Am I gonna do a live reaction over eSports? I just clicked on that. Why did I click on that? Why did I click on that? Oops. I just paused it. Yeah, they're playing eSports. eSports and uh, Rocket League's going on right now. Oh shoot, yeah, you guys can see what I'm seeing right now. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, that's what that was. I'm on desktop. I was just curious, so I wanted to click on that. Oops. Yeah. No, not oops. It's like, I wanted to see what it would take me to do. You start to live. It's the worst thing that happened was you got booted for being idle. How was I idle, though? God, it's so easy to assume someone is idle in this game. That's the weird thing. So, alright, that was me doing a test for getting plans on the Rocket League. Yeah, a few matches in there. Like the stream went okay. Yeah, the stream went great. I'm probably gonna get a haircut tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. So, all right, I'm gonna restart this stream and I'm gonna check out Deceit, Deceit Summer Season event. Yeah, let's get into this little test stream here. Uh, so, yeah, at the, er at the beginning of the stream, I was talking about a few things on how I thought about it. I probably will be multi streaming and I thought, and I decided that, you know, I'm probably just going to be streaming on just Twitch and just YouTube, unless I decide to go through Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. But after the past couple of streams of me losing connection, and then after we start streaming that happening, Feels like I just feel like I had a point where I'm, I'm fine with streaming on a single platform now. It's I only started multi streaming because when Mixer was around, I only multi streamed on the Mixer and Twitch. And the Mixer's gone. Yeah. That's why it seems like it just. I'm just gonna. Yeah, so. Seems like that's just what's gonna happen. Yeah, keeps your old vids, and I can always export them onto YouTube because that's where everything ends up on the YouTube anyway. So, all good. So it kind of works out. So yeah. So all right. Yeah, that's it for this test stream. Yeah, I probably will upload this on the YouTube just to let anyone who who's on my YouTube channel know about this. That if you want to see me go live, and I'm not. You'll have to follow me on my social media to know whether or not, because I won't always be live streaming on Twitch, or I won't always be live streaming on YouTube, since I won't be streaming on both platforms at the same time anymore. That's what I'm saying, is I can always export the VOD on the YouTube, or I can just stream only on YouTube sometimes, and I'll stream only on Twitch sometimes. I'll do that, so you guys have to follow me on my social media if you want to keep up to where I might go live, because I won't always go live here or there. So, yeah, that's why I'm going to upload this on YouTube to let people know that. 
Yeah, so you are seeing this on YouTube when it's uploaded. Uh, you know, you guys are seeing this live. I'm talking to those who are seeing this when they're not seeing this live. That's what I'm saying right now. I usually kind of almost always am, hence I always commentate throughout the live stream. As we go back and watch the VOD, you'll notice that, yes, I'm talking to you who's watching the VOD, even if you're not seeing it live. That's why that's kind of how I always uh, live stream, as if I'm recording a video. So, even if you don't see a live, you still see it in the VOD in the recorded video or an upload on YouTube. Because I'm still talking to you whether you're seeing it live or not. You know, like, you get the point. That's just how I kind of do it. So, yeah, I'll talk to you later then. Well, I'm about to restart the stream and we're going to change to another game. So, we'll see how long it'll take till I get everything all set up for the next stream. Probably won't take long. I guess this test stream was nice, so. Yeah, I'm gonna end this off like I always do. Probably for the test stream, of course. <laughs> you know, it's a test stream, not a real stream. It looks like this test stream was success. It was good. Now, how did that happen? Plus, it's easier to restart a stream on a single platform than it is when you're a multi stream on multiple platforms. That's kind of another reason why I started streaming on just one platform today. Like, I could have been streaming on YouTube also, but yeah, so. Let me do this like I always do. If you guys want to, I'm not gonna restart the stream anyways, but like I always kind of do this at the end of my stream. So, so if you want to keep up to what I'm going be doing next, and such, follow me on my social media. You guys know this little. I mean, if you haven't yet, you can if you want, because like I said, you heard me say a few minutes ago, sometimes it may not be streaming on Twitch. I'm not streaming only on YouTube, or if you want to follow me, uh, what I may be doing next, follow me on social media. It's all up to you guys. I always do that when I end the, like, the live stream, but when I end the video, and it's not live, I do it a little differently. But as you hear me, and you haven't done that yet, but it's all up to you, if you want to do that. So, yeah, I always say it's up to you guys. So, yeah. That's it for this test stream. So, yeah. Well, I also noticed, huh, did I? No, yeah, I did. I'm not kidding. I thought I did the start of the stream differently. Well, I guess not. I'll end the stream or video like I always do. So, yeah. And with that said, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> See you next time. Bye! It's like, hey, see you next time. Bye -bye. Wait, nope. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm going to just restart the stream. <laughs> like, you're watching this on YouTube. See you next time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching this test stream. Thanks for watching this test stream. Live stream. I was playing a little bit of Walking League. So, yeah, not a normal stream. It's just a test stream. See you guys in a bit. I'm just going to restart it. I got to get everything set up. See y'all guys later for Deceit. Thanks for watching. And helping me out with the testing. <laughs>